proofs. Proofs of loss of set operations. So, here we are going to prove the loss of set operations. The second case, which is nothing but the commutative loss. So, under this commutative loss, we are going to prove these two conditions one as A union B is equals to B union A, and in the second case, we are going to prove A intersection B as the is equals to B intersection A under the advanced level. So, now we are going to prove these two conditions under the loss of set operations. So, here we are going to prove the second case that is the commutative loss. Under commutative loss, we are going to prove the two cases that is first one as A union B is equals to B union A and the second commutative law is of A intersection B is equals to B intersection A by means of the element wise proofs. Then now, so we are going to prove the first case that is number 1 A union B is equals to B union A. But here in order to prove this condition that is A union B equals to B union A. So, first of all we have to prove the two conditions that is A union B that is the left hand side must be the subset of right hand side or in other words A union B must be the subset of B union A and in the second case right hand side must be the subset of left hand side that is B union A must be the subset of A union B. So, here in order to prove the condition that is A union B is equals to B union A we have to prove two conditions. So, those were the first one the first one as A union B must be the subset of B union A and as the second one B union A must be the subset of a union B. Then now I am going to prove the first condition that is A union B the subset of B union A by means of element wise proof. Then now here I am going to assume. So, here since we are going to prove by means of element wise proof. So, I am going to assume one element which belongs to the left hand side. So, here let x is an element which belongs to left hand side that is A union B. Then now that implies x is present in the set of A union B. Then now we can write the next logical step as x belongs to A union indicates here or x belongs to the second set that is B. So, here it can also be written as. So, here first of all I want to write here notations say under note. So, here or can be written by means of V this is the symbol for or and as well as and the inverted V. So, here or indicates the union and the and indicates the intersection. So, here by means of this important note. So, we are going to write the logical steps. Then now the next logical step will be of. So, here that implies x belongs to A or say or is in can be denoted by means of the symbol V then x belongs to B. So, here this can also be written as. So, yeah, that implies x belongs to A or x belongs to B can also be written as x belongs to B or x belongs to A as per the definition of the union of two sets. Then now we can write it as. So, yeah, that implies x belongs to B or A that is B union A. So, here then we have left hand side that is x belongs to A union B implies x belongs to B union A. So, here I got this logical step as per the definition of the union of two sets. Then now here 
since x is an element which belongs to a union b the same element x is also present in b union a therefore the a union b must be the subset of b union a so here therefore we can write it as therefore a union b is the subset of b union a so in this manner i have proved the first condition that is a union b the subset of b union a so here let us write this as the equation number 1 which we got from the first case so here i got this logical step as per definition as per definition of the union of sets so i wrote x belongs to b or a as b union a then now the case number 2 we are going to prove b union a the subset of a union b then now the second case that is case number 2 so in our case so i have to prove b union a the subset of a union b since we are going to prove it by means of the element wise so i have to suppose one element which belongs to b union a so here let x is an element which belongs to b union a then that implies so x belongs to b union so we can write it as or then x belongs to even a also so as per the note that is the important condition we can write it as x belongs to b instead of or we can write the symbol b then x belongs to a but as per the definition of the union of two sets we can write this as so that implies x belongs to b or x belongs to a can be written as x belongs to a or so x belongs to b so here i got this logical step so here as per the definition of the union of two sets so as per definition i got this logical step then now here the next logical step will be of so here that implies x belongs to a or b can be written as a union b then now then we have x belongs to left hand side x belongs to b union a implies x belongs to a union b so here x is present in the set that is b union a and x is also the element of a union b that is x is present in both b union and as well as a union b therefore we can write it as b union a is the subset of a union b so here we can write it as therefore b union a is a subset to a union b so in this manner we have proved the second case which is b union a the subset of a union b let us write this as the equation number 2 then now from the equations 1 and as well as 2 we can write the next logical step as so here a union b the subset of b union a is the equation number 1 then now the next equation is of b union a subset of a union b so we have proved these two conditions these two equations this is condition number 1 and condition number 2 from these two conditions it is clear that when a union b is the subset of b union a and b union a is the subset of a union b we can write it as a union b will be equals to b union a so in this manner we have proved the first one of the commutative property then now here i am going to work out the second problem under the second problem i have to prove so here a intersection b is equals to b intersection a so i am going to prove it by means of element wise so here element wise proof of a intersection b equals to b, b intersection a so in this case i want to take the case number 1 so here in order to prove a intersection b equals to b intersection a first of all i have to prove so a intersection b must be the subset of b intersection a and as well as the b intersection a the right hand side must be the subset of a intersection b then now here so in order to prove that is a intersection b is equals to b intersection a we have to prove two conditions here the two conditions are of the first one which is nothing but the left hand side must be the subset of right hand side that is a intersection b must be the subset of b intersection a and the second case as right hand side must be the subset of left hand side that is b intersection a must be the subset of a intersection b so i have to prove these conditions then only these two will be equal lhs a intersection b must be will be equals to b intersection a then now i am going to prove the first condition that is a intersection b the subset of b intersection a then now here case number 
So in our case number one, I am going to prove A intersection B, the subset of B intersection A. So since we are going to prove it by means of element wise, so I have to suppose one element which belongs to the left hand side. Let X is an element which belongs to the left hand side that is A intersection B. Then now that implies where X is present in A intersection B, then automatically so X belongs to A intersection indicates and and x is also present in the second side that is b. So x belongs to a and as well as x belongs to b because it is of intersection then the next logical step will be off. So here that implies x belongs to a and can be denoted by means of the symbol inverted v and x belongs to b. So here the next logical step can also be written as since x is present in a and as well as b we can write it as x is present in b and as well as x is present in a. So here I got this logical step as per the definition of the Union intersection of two sets as per definition. So, here as per the definition of the intersection of two sets, so I can write it as so A intersection B as B intersection A. Then now the next logical step will be of that implies so X belongs to B and A can be written as B intersection A. So, here then we have left hand side that is X belongs to A intersection B implies x belongs to b intersection a. So, here it is understood that x is an element which is belonging to a intersection b that is x is present in a intersection b and the same element x is also present in b intersection a. Therefore, the elements which are present in a intersection b are also the elements of b intersection a. Hence, a intersection b will be the subset of b intersection a. So, here therefore, a intersection b will be the subset of b intersection a. So, in this manner we have proved the first condition that is A intersection B the subset of B intersection A. Let us write this as the equation number 1 or the condition number 1. Then now we are going to solve the second one that is case number 2. So in our case number 2 we have to prove B intersection A the subset of A intersection B. So in order to prove we are going to prove it by means of the element wise. So I have to suppose one element which present in the left hand side. So here let element is nothing but the x. So we have suppose the element as x which belongs to the left hand side that is B intersection A set. Then now, so here x belongs to then we can write it as x belongs to B intersection indicates and and that same element x is also present in A. So here x belongs to A that is x is present in B and as well as x is present in A. Then now here the next logical step we can write it as that implies x belongs to B and instead of in and I say we can write the symbolic notation as inverted V x belongs to A. Then now as per the definition of intersection of two sets we can write it as instead x belongs to A and x belongs to A, x belongs to B and x belongs to A, we can write it as x belongs to A and x belongs to B. So, I have got this logical step by means of the by the definition of intersection of two sets. Then the next logical step will be of. So, that implies x belongs to A and as well as B, we can write it as A intersection B. Then now here, then we have LHS that is x belongs to B intersection A implies x belongs to A intersection B. That is x is an element which is present in B intersection A and the same element x is also present in A intersection B. That is the elements which are present in B intersection A are also the elements of A intersection B. Therefore, B intersection A will be the subset of A intersection B. So, we can write it as therefore, B intersection A is the subset of A intersection B. So, here we have wrote the second condition. So, here let us write this as the equation number 2 or the condition number 2. So, here from conditions or equations 1 and as well as 2. So, here the next logical step will be of the first condition is of A intersection B is the subset of B intersection A. So, this has the equation number 1 or the condition number 1 and we prove the second condition as. So, here B intersection A the subset of A intersection B. So, here we have proved this as the second equation. From this two equations or the two conditions it is clear that when LHS is the subset of RHS and RHS the subset of LHS we can write it as therefore, LHS must be equals to RHS that is A, A intersection must be equals to B intersection A. So, here in this manner we have proved the second commutative property which is nothing but A intersection B equals to B intersection A. So, here hence it is proved. So, on the whole we have proved the two commutative properties one as A union B equals to B union A and the second one as A intersection B equals to B intersection A.